I feel like when the call do come, I'm ready. Like, I already feel like I'm ready. I'm really just trying to get there. You know, if I play with my brothers, then they really in trouble. Uh, and that's a fact. What's up everybody, it's Hoom Nation and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Leangelo Ball. Basketball fans have been wondering for some time now on what is next for Jello in his basketball career since he is the only Ball brother who isn't in the NBA yet. He was given a tryout and then was signed for a 10-day contract with the Detroit Pistons in late 2020, but he was quickly cut. Fans quickly assumed that this was just a publicity stunt on the Pistons end, but it just appears that Jello was cut because he just wasn't good enough. And if that's true, it doesn't look good on Jello's end for not being NBA worthy on one of the worst teams in the league currently. He still has a great fan base though who continues to root for him and hope he makes the league sooner or later. That would be tough though because he hasn't played competitive basketball in almost 3 years. So the way it's looking, he might go mellow style in his route to the NBA. In 2019, Melo joined the Drew League before he took off to Australia to play in the NBL and then he took the internet by storm that summer and after the Drew League and the NBL, his draft stock went up and he got drafted with the third pick to the Charlotte Hornets. I'm pretty sure Jello would have joined Melo on his Drew League team that summer if he hadn't just been recovering from his ankle surgery. So then in 2020, he really couldn't play much because of these leagues who that had to shut down due to the worldwide pandemic. So coming into 2021 with all the leagues coming back, it leads to more opportunities for Jello. So with the Drew League coming back this summer and after releasing their schedule, people quickly realized that BBB was a team this season. I'm sure y'all basketball fans know that BBB is the abbreviation for Big Baller Brand. And after seeing Leangelo Ball say publicly on a Cool Kicks video he'd be playing at the Drew League this summer, everyone automatically expected to see him back on the floor for the first time in a while. Yo, you got any upcoming projects coming that you want to let the fans know or anything uh, that you're working on? I'm hoping that Drew League come, come correct because I'm going to get some players and we're going to get right now. Put on the show. Drew League always Niggas fine. ain't seen me playing in a minute, so that's where I'm going to go. He would be playing with some regular Hoopers and a 7'6 Giant with his dad coaching the team. So in week one, Lonzo showed up, but Jello didn't come to play. In week two, Lonzo and Lamelo showed up, but once again, no Jello. At first, this seemed to me like Jello was not using this chance at making it farther in his basketball career and just wasn't making the best of his great opportunity. But in reality, he was making moves just not at the Drew League. He missed his game in week one because he went to Charlotte for Melo's basketball camp. At first, it just seemed like him helping Melo with the camp and all, but in reality, he was also there for a chance at the NBA. It was confirmed by his uncle in an IG live at the Drew League that he had missed their latest game because they kept him in North Carolina. But well, what about Jello? Jello, okay. Jello, they kept him up there in North Carolina. If they keep Jello and Jello come back, it's gonna be a good change. They kept him in North Carolina, why? You know, he, he thought Charlotte Hornets might be trying to get Jello. This does make sense though because Hornets might be trying to make Melo comfortable in Charlotte and adding his brother to the roster might make his chances to stay there longer better. We'll see soon enough on what will be going down with Jello soon, but it would definitely be cool to see Lamelo and Leangelo together on the same team. If you enjoyed this video, please like and if you haven't already, subscribe for more basketball commentary videos like this. It's Hoop Nation and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. I'm drippin', baby, and you drippin' too uh, I know you love me, baby, and I love you too uh, I know you love me, baby, and I love you too uh.